Hey, how you doing guys? Um, unfortunately, I didn't uh, have time enough to do a pre-install video for Mojave. Um, um, a lot of times I don't have very much time uh, to compare it the before and after. But uh, I just installed the public beta Mojave, I believe it's 10.14 Mac OS on my 2009 Mac Pro, which has been upgraded using the Netkiss firmware to turn it into a 2010 or 2012 Mac Pro. Now, when I downloaded the public beta to the Mac App Store, uh, they downloaded it into my applications folder. When I started it, it said I didn't have a uh, two things it wouldn't allow it to stall. Uh, either I didn't have a metal enabled graphic card, uh, which I do if you look here. Um, it is a uh, AMD Radeon HD 7950 which is a Sapphire Mac edition, which it does indeed support metal. And uh, let me see if I can find that for you. Um, supported feature at Mac OS DPO family two version one right there. And, and it said also that I had uh, maybe file vault enabled, which is encryption for the file system, which I had, uh, I didn't have that enabled. So, what you have to do is you're going to have to go to the terminal and you're going to have to use the uh, start OS install uh, to install it onto your um, 2010 or 2012 Mac Pro. Now, you're going to have to do it a certain way. Uh, if this is a now standard install, you can use this and I'm going to put it in the comment section, the terminal command and first thing you got to do is go to where your high sierra or whatever operating system you need to change it to mojave because during the regular install it will actually first change your drive name to the next um mac os uh upgrade which in this case is mojave so you need to do that first and um as long as it's not located in an external drive or anything like special, it's the the uh, primary hard drive install, you shouldn't have any problem. And right here it says where uh, sudo is, of course, the root access permissions. Um, where the, the rest of it application install, and this kind of tells you where it's located. The, um, or, uh, yeah, the where you downloaded it to the um, Mojave install. And this shows you what hard drive in uh, volume, which is volumes Mojave, which is of course this hard drive right here. Once you install it, uh, you, you um, enter in your terminal, you'll see some gobbledygook and it'll, it'll take a little while, it may take uh, three or four minutes. And then it'll actually restart automatically and then start your install. And it was actually very quick, uh, no problems, and then you go from there. Now, sorry, I tried to do a an ins uh, a post install, but I didn't have time. Uh, uh, my uh, toddler is uh, very active, so I, I just had just enough time to uh, try to get it working and installing it and all that. So uh, um, there we go. That's how you kind of do an install. And basically what this terminal command does, it bypasses uh, the check for the metal your GPU metal graphics card and for file vault as well. Now you have to ensure that you do have a metal ca uh, capable graphic card before you start uh, do the install. If you don't and metal isn't supporting that graphic card, you'll probably have a blank screen uh, after the install. So you got to make sure you do that. Um, thanks for watching. Sorry I couldn't show you some more uh, post install. But uh, this might hopefully uh, prove useful for people who are installing on their older Mac Pro, uh, the new Mojave uh, public beta. So thanks for watching.